Well, good morning. I'd like to uh, talk to you about uh, the next thing, and that is uh, where the Bible says that the heavens and the earth will perish. And you saw just a graph of a, a meta stable, stable uh, um, prediction of the Higgs boson, the Higgs field. Well, uh, a couple of years ago, uh, 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 the, the Higgs boson, or the, what they call the, the God particle, was found. It was uh, predicted uh, by Peter Higgs, and he was uh, right. So there was a, there, there was apparently a boson called uh, that we call the Higgs boson, and they called also the the God particle. Well, it turns out to be that um, as this, this picture of it uh, uh, indicates that, um, and I'll show it to you once more, that currently we are living in a, a, a false kind of vacuum and that there is an energy barrier preventing uh, uh, our universe, in this state uh, our universe is, and uh, uh, it's prevented by an energy barrier to go to the next phase, which is a more stable phase. And this is all about the Higgs field. Um, well, this 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 state present state could could be tunneling quantum tunneling through this energy barrier to this uh, thing. In which case, uh, the Higgs field collapses and the whole entire universe uh, collapses. It 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 starts to 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 be in the state that we are right now, all because of the Higgs uh, field. Here you see another picture uh, of the Higgs boson. I'll try to, uh, yeah, this one. Diagram show the Higgs boson and top quark masses. And we are, I try to get the picture. And it says also here about the stability and instability of the vacuum the Higgs, due to the Higgs boson uh, stuff. Yeah, here you have it. We are here in a meta stable phase. And this is in, in a, a stable phase. But right now we are here in a meta-stable phase. Our universe is in a meta-stable phase. Um, so the, the science has found what the Bible already told about, uh, well, since ever since the Isaiah, uh, as far as I know. And uh, that's the earliest reference I can find about it right now. I just uh, briefly look at it. And in Isaiah says that God will uh, 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 create a new heaven and a new earth. And um, also the Bible predicts, and that was Isaiah lived 2,700 years before uh, uh, the present day. So it's uh, uh, nearly 3,000 years old, this uh, prophecy. And well, you can see from, from the... From the here that yes this is a, 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 our present state and this is a more stable state so in, in a new heaven and a new earth so that's in that state over here the true vacuum and the thing is also uh, uh, Peter the apostle Peter told in 2 Peter 3 uh, verse uh, 10 uh, but the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. On that day, the heavens will perish with, with a lot of noise, and the elements will be uh, 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 perishing or vanishing by fire, and the earth and uh, the works on it will be found. And then uh, a little further, uh, at 12, 12b. Uh, because of the will of uh, from which the heavens will perish burning and the elements will be uh, melt uh, in fire um, you can uh, expect uh, after his promise a new heaven and a new earth where justice is living so also the Bible predicted uh, by Peter that is about 2,000 years ago uh, Peter uh, 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 is telling us that the heavens will perish, and also Jesus himself tells in some from other part that uh, sooner will uh, heaven and earth pass away, but my words will never pass 
uh, I don't remember the, uh, the uh, I think it's in Matthew 24, but I have to dig it out more deeper. I'll, I'll let you know via a, a comment here or a text box where it says the correct uh, thing. Uh, I, I think it was in Matthew 24. Uh, Jesus uh, says, uh, my words will not perish. Soon the world have and the earth perish. Uh, I, I don't know. I have to find, it, find out. I'll let you know in a, in a text box here below or something. <coughs> um, but the Bible also predicts what the, the, the scientists, the secular scientists, uh, the theoretical scientists and the particle have been found. And it may, it may it be a coincidence that it's called God particle. I mean, um, uh, I, in, in first place, I, I thought it was blasphemy. But uh, now, looking at this, I, but I didn't know this, but now, looking at it, it, it may not be so blasphemous at all. I mean, the Higgs field, if it collapses into uh, uh, its, its second state, um, because water is boiling and from water to liquid, also the universe can do that apparently, and go to a false vacuum to a true vacuum, and uh, uh, so, so, and it will be uh, on the, the day of the Lord. So, be, being called a God particle may not so be, be so blasphemous after all. Uh, so, uh, apparently, the Higgs boson, the God particle, indicates uh, uh, that uh, God indeed is creating a new heaven and a new earth. Scientists predict it. Uh, they say it will take uh, 10 to the 100 uh, uh, years, so, so it will not be in our life, but that's what their prediction. I don't believe that because the Bible says it will take place in, let's say, thousands to 1,100 years from now. Uh, how do I know? Well, God promised that the, the whole history of mankind would take uh, the place in 7,000 years. For each creation day, you know, remember that uh, the... The earth was created in six days, according to the Bible, and I believe that. Uh, I, I think it really happened that way. And the seventh day is the day of rest. That is the day where God rules this world, and while well, Jesus is coming back soon, and will rule this world for a thousand years. And after that, God will say, okay, now it's over, and I will create a new heaven and earth. And, well, that will be in, in a little more than a thousand years, I think. Um, in between 1,000, 11, maybe 1,200 years from now, the heaven, heavens and the earth will perish because God told us so in the Bible. And it, it, science confirms it, N not the, the, the date. Uh, they, they have a further, further, much further away a date. But I don't think so. I think that the heavens and the earth will perish in roughly 1,000 to 1,200 years from now. Um, so it, it, and that matches with the Bible, with what the Bible says about it. Um, so yeah, the, the God particle, the Higgs boson, the, the Higgs field may not be so blasphemous called God particle after all. And uh, this is what I want to share with you. And science again matches with the Bible. Uh, um, there is no other explanation for it. Okay, thanks for watching. Think it over and read the Bible. Uh, God loves you. God wants you in heaven. That's the most important thing, uh, thing. and repent and, and come to Jesus Christ. I mean, He loves you and He wants you in, in the new heaven and in the new earth. Uh, so, think it over. Thanks. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.